Today we're going to be talking ham radios. You're looking at a TYT 7800, two meter, 70 centimeter, dual band, cross band repeat radio. When we get back, we're gonna show you how to set it into cross band repeat mode. All right, the TYT 7800. It's a dandy little radio. It does 50 watts on 146 megahertz. It does 40 watts on 440, so 50 on VHF, 40 on UHF. I am using this radio right now as a base here in the uh, home QTH for the simple reason it has the crossband repeat mode. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what crossband repeat is, you you, it allows you to set this radio up as a mini repeater so that you can reach distant repeaters and use your handheld to do so. So with this repeater here as my base, I can initiate it up with this handheld radio and then walk around my house with my handheld radio and reach repeaters 70, 80 miles away. It's a nice little feature to have. This, uh, this radio, it's fairly economical, $150 to $170. And I travel with this radio. When I go on vacation, I take it, uh, set it up in a condo, uh, put a homebrew antenna out, and off to the race as we go. So let's turn this thing on, and we're going to show you how it works. It's a very simple radio. Your power button, you just push in and hold, and then the radio will come on, and then you're ready to, to go. Now, if you're unfamiliar uh, with a uh, cross-band repeat radio, you will notice that you see two sets of frequencies on the screen. You got your left side, you have your right side. This allows you to monitor. You can monitor two repeaters at the same time. They don't have to be VHF, UHF. You can have two VHF repeaters or two UHF repeaters or one of each. It doesn't really matter on the receive. However, you can only transmit on one of the repeaters. So how do I know which repeater I'm transmitting on? Well, it'll show you a little icon right here, and this icon will be above whichever repeater is initiated for transmit. In this case, we have the left side repeater. If we want to transmit on the right side, we just simply take the channel select knob and push it in one time, and we are now initiated to transmit on the right repeater. Now, again, you can only transmit on one repeater at a time, but you can receive each repeater at the same time. So this video is to show you how to set this radio into cross band repeat mode. It's very simple. First thing you want to do is you want to determine which UHF frequency that you want to communicate back to your handheld on. You have to make sure that you use a simplex frequency. You don't want to use a repeater frequency for this. Use a simplex frequency. And you dial that frequency in here on the screen. In this case, I've got 445900. And then on your radio, you'd want to do the same thing. You want to put right here at the bottom, 445900 as your communicating frequency between your handheld and this radio. All right. Since this frequency is going to be doing the communicating to your handheld, the icon has to be initiated above that frequency because this side is going to be doing all the work to your handheld for you. Now, to set it into cross-band remote, your menu button here in the center has a little dot, that menu button, you simply push it in one time, takes you into the menu. Now, here in the menu, you can turn your channel select knob, and these are all your menus where you can set your dimmer, your programming, your DTMF codes, DTMF tones, um, your PL tones, your offset for your repeater, positive, negative, and your shift frequencies. 
Uh, this is where you do all of that. And it's a very simple process. We may make a video on that a little later, but today we're going to be talking cross band repeat. So what you want to do is you want to go to menu 35 and you'll see it says X RPT, which is cross repeat mode. Once there, you push your channel select one time. It will ask you if you would like to start cross band repeat mode. If you do, you push it again and notice now that the icon that was up above here has disappeared, nor is it above this one either. So when that icon disappears, that's telling you that it is in cross band repeat mode. And when it's in cross band repeat mode, the microphone that comes with the radio that's hooked to the radio no longer works with the radio. As you can see, it's not keying anything on the radio because we're in cross band repeat mode and it's waiting for the frequency to come from the handheld. So this microphone is, is dead. It, it does nothing. Now that we're in cross band repeat mode, we're looking for a signal to come back from this handheld and what will what'll happen is I will transmit with the handheld to this radio it will then send the frequency over to that repeater and then out to the repeaters location and you will see that all happen when I key the handheld you'll see it receive here and cause that one to transmit and here we go now when the repeater responded, notice that it sent the audio back to that frequency and then sent the return audio back to the handheld. So with this handheld, I can walk around the house using this radio as a mini repeater to get to the distant repeater. And so with this little walkie talkie handheld, I'm sorry, it's so, <laughs> you know, I ought to do a video on these. I mean, this is a little cheap, little $40 eight watt Bofang but I've had it for two years now and I've dropped it about 80 times, uh, dropped it in the uh, river when I was fishing. Uh, this little thing here is just, you can't, you can't destruct it. It's, it's an amazing little radio. I have a, a third party antenna. It's an export power antenna, fabulous job. Of course it's <laughs> chewed up and scarred up, but does a fabulous job. This little handheld is, is amazing. I'll do a video on it. A little later so anyway that's how you initiate the cross band repeat okay so i'm finished talking in cross band repeat mode how then do i get out of that to get back to normal radio use simple the menu button here in the center just push it one time and as you notice the icon reappears and now when we key the radio it's only keying that one side and it's not sending the transmit over to that repeater. So you are back now in regular radio operation. So to get back to that side, simple push, and now your microphone will key the repeater as it should. So that's how you put the TYT7800 into cross band repeat mode.